Hello everyone. In this video session, we will discuss about concept of stereoscopy in satellite photogrammetry. In aerial survey, there are mainly two basic procedures. One is taking photograph and another one is drawing information from the photograph. This drawing information from the photograph is nothing but photo interpretation. Photo interpretation means identifying and recognizing objects in the aerial photograph and then judging the significance of the objects in the photograph. So this photo interpretation is generally carried by observing the photograph or if you want to draw more information, more precise and accurate information from the photograph, we need to have different instruments. Those instruments are called stereoscopes. Stereoscopes are nothing but magnifiers. I can say that those are nothing but like uh, binoculars. So let's get into the detail. Generally, this photo interpretation is carried out with the help of magnifiers. This instrument is called stereoscope. At the end of this video session, I will show this stereoscope instrument. So this stereoscope enables the observer to see the spatial mode of the area photograph. That means, let us assume that we are we are at the plane, we are at the aircraft or we are at the satellite and we are taking the photographs. So that means this spatial mode is nothing but this stereoscope will help us to view, to see that view that is called spatial mode. So this spatial mode enables such, this spatial mode provides us a means of measuring parallax. Parallax is nothing but what is the height, what is the depth of the building, what is the height of the building, what is the depth. So these things we will get from this stereoscope instrument with a technique called stereoscopy. And we can have 3D study of photographs and we can draw some planimetric or topographic maps if we have some sufficient ground control, some lengths and elevations are available. So this stereoscope is very important to draw accurate and precise information from the photograph. The principle of stereoscopy is very much similar to the binocular vision which enables the observer to view the object or two perspective views of an object so that we will get some impression of 3D, 3D image. So, let us say with our natural vision with the use of our eyes we will see an object in a different way but from the aerial photograph if you want to have that spatial mode vision or if you want to draw more information if you want to have the 3d image kind impression on the brain so that we can draw more information from that photographs so to create an impression of 3D image or to enable us to view the object in a different perspectives, we need to use the concept called stereoscopy with the use of the instrument stereoscopes. So generally the distance between the two human eyes generally between 6.35 centimeters. Generally it is 6.35 centimeters. But to get the increased distance between the human eyes which is not possible these stereoscopes or uh, this stereoscopic vision will enable us to increase the distance between the eyes that means the eye vision distance will be increased that means it is magnifying the field view of the photograph so this in this aerial photogrammetry in order to have a spatial model of an area we need to have two photographs of the same area obtained from different points in space that means whatever the area we want to draw information we need to have that area two photographs with different views we need to take the photographs remember these two views one for each eye shall be required and also these two photographs are should be 
overlapped portions so through this stereoscope instrument and from the stereoscopic vision the overlapped portions are very much useful to draw the information so overlap of a photograph importance lies here in stereoscopic vision so if two consecutive aerial photographs are placed before an observer who is drawing information one photograph for each eye that means left photograph is viewed only by the left eye right photograph will be viewed by only the right eye then the overlapped portion between those two photographs will be perceived by the observer stereoscopically what do you mean by stereoscopically stereoscopically is nothing but the view of spatial mode of that area so this is known as stereoscopic fusion so to add a better view to add a better view to the aerial photograph beyond our natural eye we need this stereoscopic vision with the help of stereoscopes generally whenever an aerial photograph viewed by our natural eye it shows the surface of a terrain just like an horizontal plane so to bring out the difference in elevation we need the stereoscopic vision so that we can draw more information from the photograph so so stereoscope instruments are very useful for the photo interpretation techniques so let us see how the stereoscope instrument looks like and how it will be used to take the photographs just we will see the photographs then we will conclude this session if you see this is called stereoscope instrument below that we will keep the two photographs with two different views and it should be overlapped remember we will use overlapped portion to view from this stereoscope instrument so we will keep our eyes on the two mirrors you are able to see these two mirrors we will keep our both left and right ear and we will view the map which is below we will view the photograph which is below that instrument generally in our market there are many types of stereoscopes in use like lens stereoscope mirror stereoscope scanning mirror stereoscope zoom stereoscope and so on so it depends upon the importance of the project depends upon the budget of the project we need to decide which type of stereoscope we need to use that's it so these are all some of the instruments that some of the image of the instrument that i gathered to have a better understanding on the stereoscope and stereoscopic vision so i hope you understood what is the concept of stereoscopy and what is the importance of stereoscopic vision if in engineering services examination or ssc je examination or in your end semester examination if a question comes like explain the concept of stereoscopy what is the importance of stereoscopic vision like this you can answer in a better way after viewing this video session thank you